my beefy 16 gigabytes of RAM M1 Pro MacBook still beach balls and it drives me crazy. So here's the truth about how much RAM Final Cut Pro uses. Final Cut can't live without RAM and how much it uses depends on a lot of factors. In this video, I'll show you how much RAM Final Cut Pro needs at a bare minimum and I'll share three RAM recommendations based on the type of work you're doing. And later on, I'll show you a little trick to check your RAM help. I bet you didn't know. So what is RAM? RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It's temporary storage for your computer, so it can't be saved. When your computer is shut down, the RAM is wiped clean and it starts all over. RAM works hand in hand with your processor because that's where the data the processor needs to get to is stored. RAM is a lot faster to access and use than hard drives, but how much you need depends on a lot of factors. For example, what kind of video resolutions are you making? Are you making 1080p HD videos? Or are you making 4K videos? Or are you making 8K videos? The bigger the resolution, the more RAM you'll need. It also depends on your footage format. What format of files are you editing with? Are you editing with raw footage or simple mp4s? It also depends on your project sizes. Are you doing short little 15 second you know TikTok videos or commercials or are you doing massive two-hour feature films? The longer your timeline or the longer your project the more RAM you'll need. It also depends how often you're editing. If you're editing every single day then you'll want more RAM. If you edit just every once in a while once a month then you can probably get by with less RAM. And in just a second, I'll give you some recommendations on how much RAM you should get based on how often you edit. It also depends on what type of videos you're making. Are you making simple videos that are just video cutting from one to another? Or are you adding 3D titles? Or are you making a deep fake? All of those will progressively need more RAM. All right, I'm over at Apple's website and at a minimum, they recommend four gigabytes of RAM for Final Cut Pro. If you're editing 4K video or 3D titles or 360 degree video, then they recommend at least eight gigabytes of RAM. So how does this compare to other software? Let's take a look. For iMovie, they recommend a minimum of four gigabytes. DaVinci Resolve recommends at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. For HD video, Adobe recommends at least 16 gigabytes of RAM for Premiere Pro. For 4K and above, they recommend 32 gigabytes of RAM. So what are my recommendations? Well, if you're doing light work, like editing docs or checking email or watching some videos on YouTube every once in a while, or occasional graphic design or video work, I recommend eight gigabytes of RAM. It's more than the minimum four, which gives you some room to grow. If you're doing heavy work, which is regular graphic design, regular video editing, or 4K video editing, and vector graphics, then I recommend 16 gigabytes. Now, if you're doing massive work, that's full-time video editing, or filmmaking, or full-time graphic design, or maybe 3D modeling, then I recommend at least 32 gigabytes of RAM. So I hope this video has been helpful so far. I hope you have a good idea of how much RAM you should get for Final Cut Pro. And if this video has been helpful, give it a thumbs up so other people can find this video and learn from it too. Yes. So here's a little trick to see how you're doing on the RAM front. Open up Spotlight by pressing Command, Spacebar, and type Activity Monitor. Click on this Memory tab up here and you'll see this little graph down here called memory pressure. This tells you if you have enough RAM to meet the demands and needs of your programs and apps that you have up and running on your computer. So green is you're good to go, no worry, you have plenty of RAM. Yellow is a warning and means you need to close some programs or get some more RAM. Red is alert, alert, you need more RAM. You do not have enough RAM for what you're doing. You can also see in this graph here how much RAM you have total and then how much is being used. So right now I'm using 14 gigabytes of RAM and we can see a lot of that is Final Cut, Premiere Pro, Chrome is a big RAM eater and then um, some more programs. So besides RAM there are other requirements Final Cut Pro has. What are they? Let's take a look. You need Mac OS 11.5.1 or later and you can check what operating system you have by clicking the Apple up here and selecting about this Mac. Okay. You also need a metal capable graphics card 
and if you're doing 4K video editing or 3D titles, they recommend at least one gigabyte of VRAM. You need at least 4.5 gigabytes of storage space to install Final Cut Pro. And then of course you need storage for your project. If you're doing light video editing, I recommend 512 gigabytes. If you're doing heavy video editing and regularly creating videos, I recommend at least one terabyte. And I strongly recommend a solid state drive. They are so much faster and I love mine. As for a processor, the more cores you have, the faster it will be. Also, the higher clock speed you have, the faster your processor will be. So you wanna find a balance between higher cores and clock speed and budget. In the last couple of years, Apple has been creating their own CPUs and processors called Apple Silicon. And they're much faster compared to the old Intel CPU chips. They're made specifically to work with Final Cut Pro. And so these new chips really unlock Final Cut's power and speed. All right, now you know how much RAM Final Cut Pro needs and you know how much RAM you should have. I made another video that I think you might find helpful. It's called How to Save in Final Cut Pro. In this video, I show you how to save your files even though you can't, and I show you how to make backups and how to share your videos. Click here to check it out.